so guys as you can see at the background we can easily make this kind of bendings with the blender spin tool so let's do it shift plus a mesh let's add a cylinder tap to edit mode numpad one for front view enable the extreme mode press a to select everything press s to scale let's scale it down press one to vertex selection select all upper vertices let's try to bend it with the spin tool select all the upper vertices go to left side this is our spin tool as you can see now we have an indicator here let's try to spin seems like there is nothing happening but as you can see that the number of vertices increased because if we go to top view it's mainly spinning around the 3d cursor as its center let's undo what we have done to change the axis at which axis it will spin to change the spinning axis just go to left side and click on this x now it's spin on x axis let's see as you can see then y here is the indicator see it's spinning around the 3d cursor as its center so how to bend properly it's really simple numpad one front view select all the upper vertices now count the grid one two three four five six and half is three so one two three now hold shift and right mouse click to change the location of the 3d cursor now select all the upper vertices again and try to spin see it's really simple also you can put the angles manually here let's change it to minus 90 so perfect 90 minus 45 perfect 45 if you want to make it more smooth you can increase the segments here so guys let's do it one more time let's select these vertices so as you can see number three for side view now we want to spin in this way so for that let's change the axis z is not working y is the previous one so the x is not working because we need to change the location of the 3d cursor so again let's count one two three four five six so three is the half hold shift right mouse click now let's rotate see guys it's really simple and easy so guys that's how easily we can use the blender spin tool so thank you guys see you on the next tutorial